With the starting pressures, I'm going to be talking about the cold and we're going to be using PSI. Unless the track is sort of drying, it's wet, but it's you know obviously not standing water anymore. And then you could maybe drop the pressures back down to around 15 PSI. So new in the junior and senior categories is the LeConte brand of tyres. Now these are all over in Europe, pretty big deal. And now they are here in Australia as well. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. It may seem like we've been on a huge break, but we've, been, <laughs> but we've been working really hard behind the scenes, getting ready for the new racing season. We've got a new race transporter that we're going to be showing you over the coming weeks. And then we've also been getting all the engines prepared so everyone can get out there and start racing, start dominating. I'd also like to throw a special shout out to all our Patreon YouTube members and OG subscribers that have been messaging us over the Christmas break and giving us that little bit extra support. We really appreciate it. So here in Australia, we've had a change of tyres in every single category. So in today's video, we're gonna be running you through what's new in 2022. So the Cadet categories, both the 9s and the Cadet 12s, are gonna be running on the Maxxis Slick. These tyres are awesome. You can expect about a half to a one second gain from the outgoing Bridgestone tyres that were already pretty sticky. So these little babies are absolutely awesome. The guys have been setting record pace all over the country from what I can hear from the guys down in Melbourne and also here at our local track. And it's the middle of summer, so maybe we'll see even better lap times when we hit the autumn and the spring when the sun is still high here in Queensland and the day's temperature is more compatible to fast lap times. With the starting pressures, I'm gonna be talking about the cold and we're gonna be using PSI, but it's all relative. So with the cadet tires, we're running around 10 to 11 PSI, 11 in the morning and 10 at around lunchtime, except for maybe the working tire where at Ipswich, it's the back left does a lot more work than say the right front, and we can maybe run that at a little bit less pressure, say half to one pound, depending on the driver, just in that back left hand tire, just to stop it from overheating during the session. Now, if you are finding that your best lap time is too late in the session, we're gonna bump the tire pressures up. And the inverse of that is true. If your best lap is your second lap out the gate, and then every subsequent lap you are getting slower, well, you need to lower your tire pressures. We did get caught out on the weekend at our first race meeting, where we had them a little bit high at the hottest part of the day where we should have dropped them. And then when we did drop them, we didn't bring them back up once the weather had cooled off into the evening. So the best lap time was a little bit too late. Now, as for the wets, it didn't rain, so we haven't had a run on these just yet, but they are super duper sticky. So I'm gonna just start these at around 20 to 25 PSI, which is the same as what we used for the outgoing wets. That seems to be where most drivers like our wet weather tires that I've been working with, unless the track is sort of drying, it's wet, but it's you know obviously not standing water anymore. And then you could maybe drop the pressures back down to around 15 PSI. But if it's really coming down heavy with the rain, like it does here in Queensland, and there's a lot of standing water on the track, we're gonna start the tires at 25 PSI. Some setups for the Maxxis that we've been running when they're brand new is a little bit of negative camber, but an otherwise standard go-kart with maybe a medium, to hard axle. Magnesium wheels are obviously the flavor of the month up here, especially with it being summer. So if you've got some mags, chuck them on, especially for your Cadet 12s. Once the tires degrade a little bit towards the end of the weekend, we have noticed a little bit of understeer. So we've been working back out of the negative range back to neutral. If you did have some crazy understeer before the final, maybe you could try one hole of positive camber, but generally I think neutral to the negative Camper zone is where you're gonna be running this super sticky cadet tire. So new in the junior and senior categories is the LeConte brand of tires. Now these are all over in Europe, pretty big deal. And now they are here in Australia as well. The SV1 wet weather tire is the same in every category from junior all the way up to the KZ gearbox carts. Now this tire is gonna be a super sticky wet weather tire. So we're gonna be running it at around the 20 PSI, especially for the lighter drivers, when the weather is definitely bringing that heavy rain. Now, if it does dry out again, yep, we're gonna drop that pressure back to 15 PSI maybe. But generally I've found the best results with the sticky wet weather tires in around the 20 to 25 PSI range. 
If you do run it a little bit high, you'll burn out the center of the tire, but if you do run it a bit low, our lap times have generally dropped off. So unfortunately, it's just something that you're gonna to have to deal with. So for the Leconte slick tire range, we've got the LHO3, which is going to do the KA4 Juniors, tag restricted, the medium grip tire. Then there is a slightly stickier version, the SVB option, and then also to the SVC Prime, which is for the KZ and the open categories. So you've got a super sticky, a medium grip, and then a more controlled tire. But initial testing, this thing has been awesome. Setting track records all over the joint, it's been going off. The carts are not much dissimilar setup from last year from what we found. We're talking medium to hard axles for the 30 millimeter cart for most categories. A little bit of negative camber because the tires are so sticky, especially when they're brand new. We've got the front torsion bars in, seat stays on the cart to stop them from hopping, and the tire pressure range is from about 9.5 pounds up to 11 pounds. But also to what I've noticed at the last event, we did sort of drop down into the nine to 10 pound range because it was pretty warm and the tires were starting to go off once we got closer to the 11 pound range. So that meant our best lap was too early in the, in the heat race and then the last few laps, we had been started to drop some time relative to the leaders. So later in the day, we're gonna drop the tire pressures to the lower sort of nine pounds, and then in the evening or the early morning would be in the higher 10 to 11 pound range. With the more high performance categories, we've been running the tires a little bit lower around nine PSI starting pressure. Now the back left is obviously doing a bit of work at our local track, so we can run as low as 8.5, but you will notice that if you go too low on your tire pressures for your cart setup, you can start to generate a little bit of hopping. That's what people are complaining about and we're changing axles to sort of compensate for that. But like I said earlier, the setups are not very dissimilar to last year's tires. They've been getting great wear. We've been using them for two or three practice days. Obviously the high level racing that you're doing, we're throwing newer tires at them more regularly. But for the newer guys, I'm pretty confident you could get three practice days out of a set of these guys. No problems at all. All right guys, so if you've been to the track and you've used the new tires and you got a little bit of feedback for everybody on the web, why don't you just drop us a little comment with like some of the setup tips that you found or the tire pressures that are working for you guys. Or any of those little secrets that you know about that you don't mind sharing with everybody. We really appreciate everybody that's been tuning in, subscribing, turning on the pesky notifications, following us on the gram, on the Facebooky. Also too, the Patreons and YouTube members for that little bit extra. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.